So recently, I've been thinking about intrinsic content size and how to really define that. It's about giving a view a size only from its own properties. So I made a quick app to demonstrate the difference between that and constraints. So let's take a look. So here's my pretty simple app to try to explain the difference between intrinsic content size and using constraints. We have a label here that says hello world and a view here which I think is 200 by 300. So I'm printing out the intrinsic content size and the overall view, because this is an iPod Touch, is 320 by 568, that should be no surprise. Its intrinsic content size, which is kind of the value of its content, so we can derive the view size, is minus one minus one. Because for a plain UI view, it kind of doesn't make any sense to have an intrinsic content size, especially since it doesn't have any content. So let's think this through. A simple label, which is this simple label, is just saying hello world. And all I've done is set up some constraints for where that should be. It has an intrinsic content size, in this case 97.5 and 20.5, because hello world's written in it and it has a certain size for that content. So this is a reason why you don't always need all of the constraints for a label because it has a natural content size. To explain that better, we can look at this blue view, which effectively is a container view, which I've just subclassed here. It's just a UI view with an intrinsic content size and of course a background color. I can set that intrinsic content size to whichever size I would like. And then when it draws, it's going to be a square because my intrinsic content size is 200 by 200. And there's no other way for the OS to decide the size of this container view because how does it know the size of it? Well, it knows because I've given to it an intrinsic content size. So my choice is either to set up constraints for width, height, the, the position, the X and Y coordinates, etc., and set constraints for them, or I can set an intrinsic content size, which is the size, the width, and the height, in the object itself, kind of, and then save the position to put that in. Well, I hope that videos have helped you. There's links to the code in the description, and maybe see you next time. Thank you.